Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, we continue to track uh, manageable rain. It's not extreme or too heavy, so we're not dealing with issues of street flooding. If anything, you know, rain this time of year is welcome just before the summer season. As far as just adding a little more water to the reservoirs and things like that. You can see in downtown Providence, cool and wet with occasional rain, light to moderate. Temperatures are in the upper 30s to low 40s. Coventry's been holding at 39 now for the last couple of hours. We'll stay above freezing, so icing is not an issue overnight into early tomorrow morning. And it's several degrees milder along the coastline, westerly checking in at 42. Of course, with that high humidity now coming in at 96%. So we're tracking the rain. We're thinking the shutoff time here is around 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. And finally, some sunshine both uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Even though we start with some clouds tomorrow morning, the sun eventually wins out. Keep your umbrellas nearby. It's still an active weather pattern. Next chance for precipitation coming up on Friday and Saturday. Could even be a little wet snow mixed in with the rain on Friday. I'll show you that in just a second. The little areas of darker green indicating some slightly heavier rain. You see even a few downpours out towards Groton, New London getting ready to move out into uh, westerly right now. The back edge of the uh, precipitation is through... Uh, upstate New York, the lower Hudson Valley, and just outside of New York City. So you see the sharp uh, clearing line that takes place in upstate New York. Area of low pressure, a little storm system responsible for the rain now offshore. will continue to work north and east. And a nice area of dry and clear weather through the Great Lakes, the upper Midwest. And this is headed our way for mid-morning and certainly during the afternoon. Increasing amounts of sunshine. And the sun should help warm things up a little bit. Even though we're cool right now, sun this time of year is getting stronger and when it's out during the afternoon you don't have any wind it actually feels pretty nice so future cash shows as well starting off this evening and overnight just watch the time bar right up in here you see some of the steadier rain through about uh, three, four o'clock in the morning, and then it's offshore. By seven o'clock in the morning, the rain is gone. Roads may be still damp, but no more rain coming out of the sky. Temperatures upper 30s to low 40s. You see the clearing just off to our west, and that'll be the progression from west to east, gradual clearing. Noontime, we've got some sunshine and a temperature at 50. Sun continues throughout the afternoon. Temperature responds nicely in the mid-50s, so a pretty comfortable day considering how cool and raw it's been of late. And then tomorrow evening at nine o'clock, we're clear in a temperature. Of 42. So slow start tomorrow morning with some early morning clouds, but by you know, 9, 10 o'clock, some clearing, the sun coming out initially at 43, and then tomorrow afternoon, temperatures coming in between 50 and 55. Make the most of tomorrow and Thursday. We're back to precipitation on Friday. Now, this is a cold rain. However, some higher elevations may actually see some wet snow mixing in. We're not uh, anticipating any accumulations, but some wet snow mixing with the rain. That'll continue rain into Saturday, at least during the morning. Sunday still looks like the drier and brighter day. Partly sunny skies with a high temp uh, near 50. Decent weather next couple of days. All right. Thank you, Tony. Coming up.